Hello sewing people of the internet. This is going to be a quick follow-up to a video I did a few years ago where I installed a servo motor on my Conso 206 RB1 well, on the table really and um, I've had a lot of questions over the years regarding that video uh, asking about whether or not the motor is still working and how I liked it. So um, this motor is a cheap motor I bought off Amazon this isn't the motor, this is the motor controller. There's a motor and then a separate controller for this particular one. Um, I will see if I can find a link to this actual motor setup. I'm not even sure if it's under the same name or still on the market. Uh, but uh, it's a Sowetco SEWTCO SC600. Um, and the reason I'm doing this video is the motor's still working fine, but I did have a problem with the needle synchronizer or needle positioner. Uh, I think the correct term is synchronizer, uh, but I often say positioner. I've heard other people say that as well. But anyway, uh, that stopped working. So uh, what that does is uh, when I, I have it set up so that when I stop sewing, it stops with the needle down, and it's actually down just past bottom dead center. So it's down and then started on its way back up a little bit. And that ensures that when I stop sewing, I can raise the foot and pivot on the needle but the stitch has already started to be formed, so it won't skip a stitch when I make that turn. Uh, and that just makes it fast to use. And then if I heel back on the pedal, the needle comes up so I can remove the work. Um, and that's why I like to use a machine with a needle positioner. It just makes the work faster and more efficient. Well, that stopped working. It just wasn't doing anything. Um, and so I got another one. A friend of mine actually gave me this one because he wasn't using it and um, installed it and that works fine. When I took the old one off, it was in several pieces. So uh, I don't know what happened to cause it to break. Right when I installed it, uh, I mentioned in the video where I installed this, it developed a crack pretty quickly upon being installed. And I don't know if that was um, why it broke, you know, it mechanically failed over time or you know, for some other reason. I know very little about how this works, but my understanding, this is a, a bearing that rides inside the housing. And there's a little magnet that's not even glued or anything. It's just magneted to this bearing. And I guess when that magnet comes around to a sensor, it tells the computer where the needle is. Uh, I've there was a comment on one of the earlier videos that if you're having a problem with a synchronizer like this, you can open it up and see if this magnet has become displaced and you can glue it down. That might be a good idea because it's literally just attached by magnetism. Anyway, I thought that was kind of interesting. I'll try to find a link to a replacement synchronizer to give you an idea of the cost off the top of my head. I don't know what these cost, and like I said, my friend gave me this one. But uh, the replacement was quite straightforward, and uh, now it works great. So uh, this motor has been fine. Uh, I don't have any real issues with it. I think there are much better motors to be had out there. I have a Sailrite workhorse that I've never really used much, but I noticed when I have used it, the change in speed as you apply more force to the pedal is much more gradual than with this motor. That doesn't bother me, but if you're looking for more precise control, I mean, this is not the worker bee motor on a Sailrite. It's definitely uh, much more on and off, but, uh, but it's still working. Just had to change this. Just wanted to give you that update to let you know. If you have any questions, post them in the comments section below. If you like this video, clicking like is a big help. If you're not a subscriber, I'd love it if you would subscribe to my channel. You can check out other places to follow me in the description below, and you can also buy some merchandise if you want to help support what I'm doing. Thanks very much. See you next time. Here's the shark. He's... Right there.